Welcome back to another episode of VTTV. Today we have a real treat for you. We have a different type of docking station to show you today. This right here is Lenovo 40AH Pro Dock. This is the type of docking station that the laptop goes and sits on top of instead of having a single cable connecting the docking station to the laptop itself. Let me show you a little bit about this and we can get into how to get this guy all set up for you. So, We'll start in the back here. First off, we have a standard Ethernet, gigabit, gigabit Ethernet port, a USB-C 3.1 port. We have two USB 3.1 super speed ports back here, two USB 2.0 ports, a USB 3 super speed port that also supports charging for like a cell phone. And you have two display port outputs, the standard Lenovo rectangular power cord input, and an audio headset output. On the top of the docking station, this dock does support remote power on of the laptop. So if the laptop is docked in the docking station, you can hit this button to power on the laptop or wake it up. This is a little latch that locks the laptop into the dock. There's also, if you have the keys for the dock, this right here, which will lock the laptop into the docking station, and along with the, uh, the Kensington lock back here, it will lock the entire setup to the actual desk. Some of these docking stations also have mount points in the bottom to mount the whole thing to a desk as well too, so keep that in mind as well. What also comes with the dock is your standard Lenovo 135 watt power adapter with the yellow rectangular tip. Keep in mind that this dock does require this 135 watt power adapter or it will not work. I have seen multiple instances where folks will use a 65 watt or a 90 watt power adapter from a laptop and the docking station will give you all sorts of charging errors. Um, next up, the standard three pin power cord that comes with it. The other end plugs into a standard US 120 volt outlet. So let's go ahead and get this all hooked up. We'll get a dock, uh, computer dock to the uh, docking station and we'll show you how this all works. All right, so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get the power cord plugged up to our uh, power brick right here. So go ahead and plug this in. This is already plugged in on the other side to a power strip. Plug that guy in there. And I'm not going to unravel this just to keep things neat, but this plugs right into here. Next up, we have our two displays. They're both display port with locking latches. So go ahead and lock those in as well. I'm going to go ahead and insert this till you hear a nice little click. Same thing with this guy. Insert and you'll hear it click into place there. Um, for this demonstration, we don't have any USB devices that we're going to be plugging up or an Ethernet cord that we'll be hooking up, but keep in mind that at this point, it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, get those plugged in as well. So there's that. Here is our test subject. This is a Lenovo L15 laptop with a full-size keyboard in the 10 key, powered by an AMD Risen processor. Um, this docking station will work with both Intel-based laptops as well as the AMD variants as well, so keep that in mind. Um, when we're going to go ahead and dock this for the first time, we'll want to line up the back edge of the display with this little notch that's sitting right here on the docking station itself. This little bar helps align everything as well. So as we line it up, we'll hear it click into place. There we go. Then we'll slide the, lock the latch over to connect the docking station to the laptop. Once it's connected, you'll hear the normal Windows dings. 
as well as a little light on the side here will go from yellow or orange to white, indicating that the laptop is connected. And uh, almost instantly as we dock the laptop, it has figured out the, the uh, display port ports on the, lap, on the docking station and has connected our external displays. Well, uh, that's what I have for you today with this docking station. Um, if you uh, stay tuned to our uh, channel, we will have more helpful videos in the future.